Let's head into this newscast with the latest coming in on Hong Kong as the Chinese National People's Congress is all set to pass the National Security Bill which will change Hong Kong's legal system. This comes amid massive protests in the city and rising tensions with the United States. The police have been deployed all across Hong Kong. The contentious bill which has ignited fresh protests in Hong Kong aims to change the city's legal system. It will also allow China to bypass Hong Kong's legislature and ban what it describes as secessionist activities. Pro-democracy activists fear that the law will be the end of Hong Kong. This law comes as Beijing blocked an attempt by Washington to hold a United Nations Security Council meet on the proposed national security law. Earlier, United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo told the Congress that Hong Kong has lost its autonomy and that it no longer qualifies for a special trade status under American law. Meanwhile, Hong Kong's pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong has urged Trump to impose sanctions on China. Listen into what Joshua Wong has to say. We urge President Trump to echo on the recommendation of Secretary Pompeo to enhance the economic parcel sanction on Hong Kong's red capital and also for those uh, businessmen or politicians that violate the human rights, enhancing the national security law that will erode the future of Hong Kong. Meanwhile, scuffles have broken out in the Hong Kong Legislative Council as pro-democracy lawmakers protested against the anthem bill, which will criminalize disrespect of the Chinese national anthem. The Legislative Council security staff removed pro-democracy lawmakers from the chamber as the debate on the anthem bill went underway. The bill will make it mandatory for the Chinese national anthem to be taught in Hong Kong schools. The debate was later suspended as pro-democracy lawmakers threw an object at the Legislative Council president.